It just looks so... Welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Natasha go ahead and subscribe join the family we serve looks over here as you can see okay so today I'm gonna be doing a kind of natural look but I'm gonna be trying a new product you guys have been asking for this for so long and we're finally here I'm gonna be kind of reviewing doing a demo slash wear test you know how that goes on the elf camo CC cream and it looks so good it looks so good so also also thank you elf huge shout out to elf for sponsoring this video round of applause thank you so so much i'm super excited i really do love elf products and elf was one of the first brands that i ever first of all worked with and one of the first brands that i ever tried in my early makeup days my makeup career so this is like huge for me like it is really huge so i just want to say thank you again for partnering with me with this video so let's get into it don't forget all products will be in the description box below okay just just go ahead and start clicking them now because you're gonna want them you're gonna want every product that i use for this face because like I think it's sitting. You can't tell me that this is just not my skin. This is not my face. Because it is. So, once again, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and keep watching. Alright guys, so, hair is back. We're talking face today, okay? That is the focus today. We're getting the skin together. Because as you guys know, my skin is not perfect. But I like always want to achieve that flawless skin like look all right so um, I'm gonna be trying the camo the CC camo cream and this is my first time trying this but I've seen so many people rave about this so we're gonna see what it's talking about but I'm very familiar with all these other elf products so I'm super excited we're just gonna make it kind of like a full face of elf and do kind of a wear test so yeah as you can see my brows are already on I did that already and also I did moisturize I use the hello hydration face cream which is one of my favorite drugstore moisturizer it is bomb if you have dry skin or you just like that super plumping effect as you can see get you some hello hydration okay thank me later so I'm gonna go on with my elf poreless putty primer which is amazing I love this stuff so much I actually like the whole line of the um, poreless putty primers they have a mattifying one they have an illuminating one this is the original and then they just came out with like an acne fighting one but the original is definitely my favorite it definitely helps with the longevity of my makeup and it's kind of thick so it kind of creates this like poreless effect on your face which is what your girl needs okay so because my brows are on and my skin is prepped I'm gonna kind of do like a snatural look I want to do a your skin but better type of look I'm not gonna do eyeshadow and all that um, I'm just gonna focus on the skin so I'm gonna start off with this this is the camo CC cream in the shade deep 40 n all right So this is what it looks like it's a little thick which I like and it looks like it's gonna match um, I did pick mine up in store and this was like the closest match to me so I know they do have 20 shades over 20 shades so you're gonna find something and it's a CC cream so you know a CC cream is one of those like again your skin but better type of product so it doesn't have to be not that it doesn't have to be it's never gonna be dead on but it is gonna like kind of mesh and melt into your skin this is like a cream finish and already you guys I am in love and I love the color match I was a little nervous because sometimes with neutral shades I get really nervous but this one looks really really good and this does have a more of a natural finish it's not matte it's not super dewy it's just like perfect I really like a natural finish foundation because I feel like it looks the most natural so it's gonna look the best um, when your face is all done it's not gonna end up looking super greasy it's not gonna end up looking super matte so this is perfect for that everyday wear and another great thing about this CC cream is that it has SPF 30 so you are protected and you are good 
throughout the day. That's why I recommend this for daily wear because we should be wearing sunscreen every day. But if you can like have a two in one type of product, it's even better. You're looking glam and you're protecting your skin at the same time. So I think that is perfect. So many of you guys have been asking me to try this for so long, but it's one of those products that I like kind of overlooked, but like, I'm so glad we're here. <laughs> I'm glad, like look at my skin. It looks so good. And also because my hair is back, it just looks like fresh and like, oh my gosh. And I'm so happy that this does not have a smell because some products be having this like scent to it and I just don't. I don't like anything too fragrant on my face because that is my face. So I'm very cautious about that. And it looks so good. So I'm gonna show you guys up close. I'm gonna get a little closer, let it zoom in. So you guys can see my face without any other product. I've literally prepped my skin and added the CC cream. Now for the average person, you could stop right here. Um, I personally feel like you can get away with just wearing it like this, um, especially if your skin is not oily. I mean, this is good for all skin types, but if you're a little bit on the drier side, this is gonna wear really, really good throughout the day. But me being me, I like a little glam. So we're gonna bring it up a notch. I'm gonna be using my um, camo concealers. And I'm gonna go in today with the hydrating one first, I think. I have all my camo concealers. When I tell you I am a camo concealer junkie, I really love these concealers. Um, I love the hydrating one a little bit better because I like my skin to be more quenched. If you guys are familiar with me and my channel, you guys know I like a more like hydrated type of look, right? But when I want my face to look snatch snatched, the matte ones, are where it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little mixture. Um, there's so many shades of the, of the camo concealer too. Like you can do so much with this. Like, oh my gosh. I never really know what shade to use because there's so many shades, but it's not a bad thing. It's like, wow, I actually have options. I don't have to use this because that's all they have. You know, I literally have options. So I'm going in with the shade Deep Chestnut and I think that's the first shade I'm gonna use cause it's like not too bright and it's not too um, close to my skin tone. It's like a happy medium. Cause we also don't want this to be a really dragged out, you know, look. You want it to be kind of quick cause that's why you use CC cream because you want like a quick kind of look, you know, a daily, everyday look. So. I'm gonna blend that out and I'm using my Camo Concealer Sponge, which is my favorite sponge. And I had to search for this again because I lost them. I used, I had so many of them and I could not find them. So we're just gonna blend, 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 honey. Literally, you see how it like just sits in, in the corner of my eye, like perfect. So I'm just gonna blend this out. Again, it's all preference. Both concealers are great, but um, I just prefer the, the hydrating one, at least especially for my first layer of concealer. You guys know I do two layers of concealer because I'm extra, but um, I think this one just works better for the under eye. It doesn't cause any creasing or anything like that. Now I'm gonna brighten up my under eyes just a little bit because that's just like my preferred look. You know, you can stop here, but I'm gonna bring it up a notch um, and I'm gonna be using deep caramel it's very bright so I'm just gonna use a little bit and when I say a little bit I mean a little bit because this concealer is thick and it's very full coverage do you guys see the coverage that this concealer gives it's super full coverage so like, I know sometimes I go in on concealer, but like this one, I have to make sure I go in with a really light hand, which is not a bad thing because a little bit goes a long way, which means your product is gonna last. So I'm gonna be adding a little bit of depth to my skin because I don't have a powder bronzer by e.l.f. So I'm gonna be using the Sunkiss, let me get it right, let me get it right. The Putty Sunkiss Bronzer in the shade, oh. The putty bronzer in the shade Sun Kiss. Um, I had another shade, it was like Belle something, but it was like a little bit too light. Like it was like, 
it worked but like i like my cream contour to like give me damn do you see that y'all see that but i really liked the formula i really liked how it blended out it was like really diffused really natural looking so this will definitely be in rotation love how like elf is just like coming out with so many different products useful products at that because i feel like they haven't had a miss in a while like the products that they've been coming out with have been all hits honey then to add a little color to my face i'm gonna go in with this um putty blush in bali and you guys their blushes i love them i've been loving cream blush it just has been like the icing on the cake so Sorry guys, I had to close my blinds. I feel like you guys couldn't see me. But um, like I was saying, um, I've been loving cream blush because it's just like second skin. It literally looks like you're blushing and it just is like the icing on the cake. So this is Bali. This is what the shade, oops, this is what the shade looks like. It's more of like that like red brown. I would say a brick a brick kind of color so very appropriate for the fall as well and for my brown girls brown skin girls I see how I have not added any powder to my face yet I have not set anything and my face literally looks so good it looks so skin like it doesn't look like too greasy it doesn't look too glowy it doesn't look like it's about to slip and slide and honestly at this point, I would feel like, oh my gosh, where's my powder? I have to powder my face, but I feel good. Like, if I had to leave the house like this, I would, which I am going to leave the house. But I'm going to set my under eye just, <laughs> just because that's how I am. But I'm going to be going in with this Halo powder in this shade Medium Beige. This is what the shade looks like. I don't want to use anything too bright today. Um, I just want to use something that's, like, going to set my eye and like add a little brightness, but not like super bright. Cause I have, I want to just say medium, not medium beige. And sometimes it's a little too bright. So I'm going to use this. And I actually love this powder. I don't know if you guys remember when I was like using this all the time. It just gives a super nice glowy finish. It sets your face, but like not in a super cakey way. Like if you like a more natural look, this is the powder to get like do you see how it set my under eye without altering the look of what i have going on i'm literally able to keep the same really fresh glowy look without having to compromise with the powder so i am going to be leaving the house so i do want to like kind of lock this in so that i don't have any transfer or anything like that so i'm going to be going in with my um elf sheer tint finishing powder in the shade dark deep and i'm just gonna lightly put that all over just to lock that in with my elf powder brush y'all know this is my right design honey do you see that it looks so good this looks like skin wow and we're about to be done you guys because i keep it real simple like you see i guess this is more natural not natural i know to some people this might be a lot that's why i try to pick my words very wisely because some people will be like tasha this is so much makeup and i'm like this would really take me five minutes if I was not on camera. <laughs> so like I said, I'm going to keep it real simple. And I'm going in with this mascara, which I'm super excited to try. Because look at the wand. When I see a wand like this, I know my lash is about to be juicy. So this is the Big Mood Mascara by e.l.f. Isn't it weird seeing me without lashes? I think it is. I think I might put some on. But I'm going to be right back. Get my hair and stuff together and talk to you guys in a second. Y'all, I almost forgot. I need to spray my face to lock everything in. So, I'm using my e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist with up to 16 hours of wear. This is literally one of my favorite um, setting sprays. It's chef's kiss. It works so good. <laughs> I just want to like come up close for you guys to see that it is literally skin like this looks like what my skin is supposed to look like 
This is natural. This is literally natural makeup. And I just love how it's sitting on my skin. I can't wait to see how it wears because it looks so good. Like in person, I'm like looking up close. There's no texture. There's no creasing. There's no anything. It just looks so good. This CC cream is a banger. Oh my God. Y'all know I live for the natural looks. I love the natural looks. I be doing the colors and the, and the eyeshadow and stuff for you. But like this, this speaks to me. All right guys, so I let my hair down. This is the complete look. I will be back in about four to five hours to do a check-in. It is 5.45 right now, okay? So in a few hours, I'm gonna do a check-in. I'm about to run out, I have some things to do, and I'm gonna let you know how my face held up, how it wore up. I will not be touching up anything. I never touch up my face. So if you ever see a wear test in the future, just know unless it's really really bad i don't touch up my face i don't this lip is just going to be what it is when i get back like i'm not doing anything extra so make sure you guys stay tuned to see the wear of it but so far thumbs up like two thumbs up because i absolutely love how it's just sitting on my skin like wow it looks great so i'll see y'all later hey guys so i'm back after six hours it is now 12 a oh let me show y'all 12 a.m. Proof is in the pudding, okay? Um, and my face looks good. It feels good. I am a little shiny around my nose area, but honestly, that's not bothering me. And it's a little oily, but it's like a natural oil. To me, it's like a glow. I was getting compliments on my face. My friend's like, oh my God, you're glowing. I'm like, you're you now. <laughs> you now. But honestly, things like CC creams, tinted moisturizers, anything like that is going to wear better because it's lighter. When you wear thick, heavy makeup and then it starts to get oily, that's when it starts to feel, you know, cakey and nasty. But this feels like I have nothing on my face. So I want to give you guys another close up of the face so you guys can see. It looks like this looks good. And I told you guys I wasn't touching up, nothing else on my lips take me as I am okay and for anybody that's curious I do have normal skin so I don't get super oily and I don't get dry okay I have my moments I have my dry spells I don't really ever get oily though but I do have my dry spells sometimes but my skin is overall normal normal for those who may be curious so I give this elf camo CC cream an A plus I'm here for it. So for my girls who need something every day that's not going to be harsh on the skin, that's going to wear light, has skincare benefits, SPF, this is the one for you. Obviously, you can touch up if you like. I'm going to take my powder brush with nothing on it and just go over my nose. And as you can see, the shine is like gone immediately. So if you have like a super long day or anything like that, you could definitely definitely just pat 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 you don't even need any extra product and look at that the shine literally disappeared so you guys the lcc cream is a winner it gets an a plus from me and i highly recommend it i think that it definitely is going to be a staple so make sure you guys check out the description box down below if you're interested in shopping and if you do purchase this tag me let me know dm me let me know how you feel because i really value value your guys opinions when i suggest something i like really get kind of nervous because i'm like oh my god i hope they like it because i love it but i think you guys are really really gonna like this one so thanks so much for watching you guys let me know what you guys think of this video if you guys want more like demo wear test type of videos and i will see you guys in my next one bye